Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Marmoset, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. So, what are we going to do? Well, we've got enough science. I went out and earned a bit more cash doing some touristy things, and I bimbled around a little bit in a science car vehicle, which I'll show you in just a sec. Um, but we've got electrics. We can buy electrics, which includes a probe core with stability assistance, meaning we won't end up minutely endlessly spinning randomly through the skies <laughs> so we have, to have some split to and also very interestingly photovoltaic panels these produce 0 0.3 charge a second which is 18 a minute so i will quite happily have those and i will spend the 13 thou purchasing them because a contract i notice we have is do a low resolution scan of kerbin this gets us a pretty decent amount of cash um, and so today's episode is, or this part, the first episode, is going to be building this one. So, I will take this. We will leave. We will go to the vehicle assembly building. And we will start with a more advanced probe core. There it is. That's what we really want to see. A more advanced probe core. Um, there's the zoom in button. Right. Now, first things first, not utility. This is never going to come back. So, we can just get the scan unit, we can just park that, I don't want to park it on the side, I want to park it on the top. Is that attached? It is, but let's do a finer adjust, there we go, thank you, yeah, there's the, auto, the auto snap kicked in there, so there, that's what I want, I want that radar dish, ooh, funky. Okay. We'll leave you to retract. Alright, so that's what we want. So this needs to go into a polar orbit. So that's one of a high inclination going over the snowy poles of Kerbin. So we need to make sure we've got enough delta V. So, first up, I want one of those fuel tanks. We need one of those. And then I would like our very, very good Terrier engine. That gives us two and a half thousand delta V. That should be enough. Now, bear in mind, we will be going burning north from launch to get us into a useful, uh, a, a good starting orbit. But that looks like a pretty good start. So, we will need solar panels. We will need two solar panels at minimum. I'm going to put them on the side of this. Um, actually, no. I would like four solar panels. So, we've got a part limit of 30, because um, I haven't sprung the cash yet to get any more on that. Not a lot of Delta V in the atmosphere, plenty out of it, which is when we're going to be mostly firing this rig. Next we want decoupling unit, and let's go all up with the solid fuel on, this, on the liquid fuel for this one. So there's a pair of those engines. And I want a swivel. So we've got 5,000 delta V in total on that little rocket. It's not the most aerodynamic bird you've ever seen, but it should have enough thrust to get up and away in total. Alright, so you're mostly atmospheric, so you're not quite got enough. So with that in mind, let us go to couplings. Grab that one. Don't want four. Just have two. Let's put another couple of fuel tanks on, and a couple of these big burner engines. So you three should all be firing at once. It didn't surprise. It didn't add as much delta V as I thought it might actually. Hmm. Makes me wonder whether or not it's actually better off just going with the taller rocket. Yeah, that added about the same for about the same amount of delta V for pretty much the same amount of power value. All right. Now this beastie, with the science, needs to be between get an altitude above the atmosphere of five kilometers. All right. So let's if we pitch in orbits about between 80 and 100, we should be in the optimal range. We've got hopefully enough power. 
All right, we've got many parts spare, so let's flick down these command and control. No, I'm happy with that. Don't need any structural. Don't want any payload. Aerodynamics. I wouldn't mind four of these friends to get us out of the atmosphere safely. Because uh, broadly, spinny, 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 flying, death, doom, it all, it's all falling the parts again. I don't want to do that again. That's no, that was never fun. All right. How much electrical charge do we have? Electrical charge generated, but storage lacking. You only carry 10 electrical charge. All right. How much do you weigh? Not very much. I do that twice one of these and you are more conveniently in line. Alright. Keep that above 5,000. Should be enough. Short range antenna. Ah, yes, otherwise we won't be able to communicate. I gain antenna. You use a lot of electrical charge a second. Mm -hmm. 31,000 megameters. Well, we're only going to go about 100k above the surface, so I think we don't need that many of you. Um, put you there. No. Grab that one. Oh, I pushed the button wrong again. And we will park you there. Do that. Get you to settle in the position. You'll sit floating in the sky. No. <laughs> Can't quite allow you to be floating. That looks a little silly. Fine tune. There we go. The snap looks a little bit more sensible. All right, so we'll try that in a bit. So this is Kerbin Scan One. That's the nature of this mission. You want to Kerbin? You want to scan Kerbin? Now we've got a quite a bit of Delta V. I personally wouldn't mind a little bit more. That mostly involves sticking in this upper stage. Is it worthwhile throwing on some SRBs? What's well, our thrust to wait and start to? Alright, I know I think we're going to be pretty good with this bird. So let's take her out. So we're looking to go north from launch, which means I need to spend a bit of time working out which direction that is. Save and launch. Right then, where are we? I'm getting on okay? Yep, I think we're doing absolutely fine. So, uh, X science, I don't need you. It occurs to me that possibly we could have strapped a thermometer or something on this. Yeah, let's let's, let's recover vessel. It's like, what do you do? Well, we wheeled it out. We're we wheeling it back in again. We forgot to stick this on! There's no real harm or damage in us strapping on, snapping back on a thermometer. Just in case we happen to fly over something we've not ever looked at before, we'll do exactly the same thing. Well, no, it should be fine. It should be tasty. Um, I will put the old fashioned. Can I rotate that? That's the wrong direction of rotation. That's also the wrong direction of rotation. That's the right direction of rotation. Let's put the old fashioned tape deck on. Alright. 5.363 kilometers per second in the delta V. Curve and scan one is ready to go. And we've got SAS control, which means I can press T and be vaguely sure that it's not going to just go flying off into the distance. All right, 
So, as the sun rises, I think, where are we? I'm going to assume it's rising. Well, we want to be heading north to seas. Which means I need to be pushing. Alright, that's a. Alright, that's. Alright. None of the. Uh, yeah, I'll have roll, but just won't pitch. And you pitch and no roll. Alright, so. Nope. Yep. Alright, so that's left and right. And you're right and left. Alright, so I want to be going that way. Or that way, doesn't matter. As long as I'm picking one of those buttons. I'm just playing around with these to make sure I've got the right ones. Alright. Um, fire, thrust, fire. No parachutes, nothing else. We've got our solar panels. Generating any charge right now? Blocked by VAB. Alright. Alright. They're in the shade. Alright. I'm assuming that'll get sorted out in a sec. Alright. Go. Apparently, not quite enough thrust. Alright. So we want to keep it below supersonic. This is looking increasingly like, like we might want. Give me a tilt that way just a little bit. And I'm going to throttle down to make sure we don't go over supersonic. Actually, we do want a little bit of inclination. We don't want to go perfectly in this degree, so actually, that's not too bad. We'll just keep tapping that down and just, yeah, just let it float over just a little bit. So we're heading a 331. Greatest heading in the world, but let's just strain it up just a little bit. Slowly beginning to accelerate, but we're not seeing supersonic effects, so I think we'll go for full power. Current aquaps is high as 40,000 there. I'm gonna kill the thrust there. Not a lot left in this engine. So look at our orbit. Alright, not the greatest. But what we can do. Ah! Okay, so a thing has happened. This does have some reaction wheels. But really doesn't have much authority <laughs> compared to what we used to with the command modules. So, flattening off this burn. So we're going to point it, slow down, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down, about there, hit full power, and get rid of that stage. Alright, we are now in of the spaces. So we need to, when we hit the apoapsis, we will be doing a burn. Actually, having just slightly slow. This little amount of control authority isn't too bad actually, because it means I'm not just flipping the hell out. So, we are now in this location. You will go and burn up. We have 27,000 Delta V available. Stand and Dana. Have communication. You. Power regenerating. 
direct sunlight, direct sunlight. Apparently direct sunlight, even though you're on the back side of the spacecraft. Alright, that's fine. Um, I've overshot. Whoops. That's a reasonable amount of inclination. Um, we may have to do a small plane change at some point. If we don't come crashing back into the atmosphere. Um, let's just pull up just a little bit. <laughs> a little bit more. All right. Perhaps his height is this. We are, as you might imagine, not burning particularly efficiently at this point, but I want both of these points outside of the atmosphere. Before we can really do anything more useful. Endeavour to circularize the air, the uh, orbit. All right. So, we're essentially all we're doing right now is pushing our apo out. Out. There's not much point in doing that at all. So, the only thing we really do right now is time warp till we get over here. Our current altitude is 75, so we're not about to re-enter the atmosphere. Have a look at our altitude profile in just a sec once I have circularized this orbit. Uh, time to approach this. I'll drop out of time warp at 30 seconds too. Alright, that should be close enough. So we want. Oh, balls, I was pointing the wrong direction. That was a deceleration burn. Nice to know you're wasting those last little bits of delta that you've got. So you see, our apparatus is not going up anywhere near as fast as periapsis because we're burning here, and thus faster here means you go higher here. Close to Let's see if we can get them about 200, 200. I, mean, I suspect this one will be over 200, but I'm not going to go and spend the fuel reducing it. All right, let's time warp a little bit more. Back to the apoapsis again. Make sure we're pointing in the right direction. There we go. And then we need to burn. Right, that's pretty circular. All right, before we do a plane change, are oh, you, my satellitey friend, reasonably happy with the amount of sunlight you're getting? You are. All right, let's put you on a little bit of a roll, and then let's point you at the planet. All right, planet pointing is underway. Roughly where we want you. All right. Start radar scan. Altitude, ideal. 
Brilliant. Alright. Scan set. Big map. This is Kerbin, and that's the little patch of Kerbin we've just scanned. So, I'm a little bit interested in this. To note, where's my purses? That these things line up perfectly. So I'm slightly interested to know what effect that's going to have. But we'll find out about fine tweaking this a little bit in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I have been the Marmoset. This is Curb Scan 1, currently in a highly, highly eccentric orbit. Successfully did it. Hey, there's our scan track. That's nice. Merrily going on its way. Um, let's see, do we have... There's a thermometer. I'll look the temperature. In space, Nick Kerbin. All right, fair enough. Reset the experiment. Grand. All right, there's our first little orbiting satellite. Actually in orbit. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for now. Bye. Bye. Bye for now. And continuing thanks.